Hello, welcome to this new video series in which we're doing a deconstruction of Steinberg's Groove Agent 5. It's a fantastic piece of kit and certainly my go-to drum module, but boy does it take some learning. The, the problem is that it's not an intuitive interface. If you haven't got somebody showing you how to use it, it, it can be a bit of a slog. So hopefully over the course of this video series, I'm going to make a lot of those problems go away. I'm going to show you how to make this thing work for you in a simple or as simple as possible um, and clean way and avoiding a lot of the complexities and unnecessary headache that can be involved if you're trying to learn it straight from the manual. Today we're dealing with an overview of the application itself. What, what's it all about? Well, really it's three drum modules in one. It looks like a single interface, but the three engines underneath it are really quite, quite dramatically different. I'm going to show you each of those in turn. The first one is called Beat Agent, and I'm going to load a Beat Agent preset. Now, unhelpfully, they've actually created a module, like an expansion module called Beat Agent. I really wish they hadn't, but they did. And so we're loading a preset from the Beat Agent module into the Beat Agent. I try not to get confused with those two things. It certainly did for me for a while when I first started using this tool. So Beat Agent is all about sample based one hit pads and every Groove Agent preset. So this applies to all three agents. We're dealing with agent number one here, the Beat Agent. They all have two different views of the world. They have the pattern view and the instrument view. Patterns are all about grooves, rhythmic sounds made up of different instruments. This is a groove. This is a part of a groove. This is just the ride element. Here's a snare line, not a particularly exciting one. All of those different types of clustered sounds, those rhythms are loaded onto pattern pads. And you can have 128 pads in Groove Agent. You can see them grouped in uh, collections of 16. So this is a pattern group. And in fact, in this preset, there's only one pattern group. This little orange light tells us that. If I head over to the instrument tab, we get all of the individual sounds that go to make up this preset. So you've got a pattern view and an instrument view in every preset. Beat Agent, as I say, is all about sample based stuff. You can drop any sample, any kind of sample you want on there, any wave file. You can drop multiple samples onto the same pattern and get a thicker and thicker and fatter and fatter layered kind of drum sound. We've got an awful lot of flexibility on these pads and we're going to deal with all of that in this video series. As far as dealing with the patterns themselves in Beat Agent's concerned, they're really MIDI patterns and you can see all of the different MIDI notes and this looks very similar to the drum editor in Cubase itself. You can pick these things up and move them around and do what you want with the pattern. So you, you're really dealing with it as MIDI information. That's what the beat agent's all about. The second kind of agent is the acoustic agent. And now I'm going to load an acoustic agent preset. Now what you're going to see is a thumbnail change. So now there's a picture of a drum kit up here. If we jump briefly over to the instrument view, you can see it in clearer detail. And if I click on these drums, so each different acoustic agent is a replica of a real world drum kit. Each of these pa uh, pads, if you click at the bottom, you get a quiet sound. Click at the top, you get the loud version. So they're all velocity sensitive. Back over on the pattern view, we've still got grooves, just like we did in the beat agent. And here's a fill but we've got a different way of interacting with those patterns. So these are 16 patterns. You can load MIDI files in and, and trigger all of these drum sounds using MIDI files, but really where the power of the acoustic agent comes is the style player. This is the style player. It's just fantastic. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn one of these grooves on by pressing play. So it's got its own little internal transport. And now it's just playing this main groove over and over again. In this box down here, 
this is where the style player really comes to life because on the y-axis we have intensity or basically kind of volume how violently or loudly the drum kit's being played and on the x-axis we've got the complexity so this is as simple as this particular drum rhythm gets this is all main five this is all this pattern if i drag this complexity slider over the rhythm changes it's more and more complex and up at the top right hand we've got maximum intensity maximum complexity all on one groove we can introduce auto complexity and auto fills and suddenly we've got a full drum rhythm we can manually intervene make it Play things outside of what it would kind of normally cyclic cycle round with these auto settings. And all of that can be automated. So you can you can basically do a complete performance of a drum kit with very rich complexity, and there's an awful lot of settings in this style player that you can go at basically live. And you can output that MIDI data to Cubase as a drum line. So pretty fantastic in emulating human beings playing drum kits. That's what the acoustic, acoustic agent is all about. The third candy kit is the percussion agent. So we'll find one of those. Now I'm going to load a percussion agent preset. And you're going to see patterns and they're going to contain grooves. And you're going to see instruments and you're going to be able to hit the different instruments so the percussion agent is obviously all about percussion sounds but as you'll have seen over here it has yet again a different method of interacting with the patterns so let's have a look at how the percussion agent um, treats its styles very very briefly so you've got eight different slots in which you can engage or disengage instruments you can introduce new slots. You can change the complexity and the intensity using these sliders. So now instead of having one master intensity and complexity, we're dealing with those scales for each individual one of these instrument components. You can randomize this stuff, change the tempo at which that various that component is played, groove offsets, and again, all of that can be automated. All of it can be output to groove uh, to, to Cubase, and we can end up with fabulous percussion lines off these style editors. So that's a really brief whistle stop introduction to Groove Agent. That's what we're going to deconstruct during this video series. We're going to deal with each of those three agents in detail and figure out how they're similar and how they're different. Groove Agent provides this skin of seeming similarity over the top of them, but we have to always bear in mind that they are fundamentally different beasts and there are many respects in which we'll treat them differently. We can load presets in and we'll learn how the preset management works. We have this fully featured browser over here that looks like a little mini media bay. And in many respects, it is a little mini media bay. It has its own completely independent sampler. And we'll, we'll, we'll have a look at that, an introduction to how we can record our own sounds and get them into the sampler and do some editing in there. And we'll try to do it in the cleanest, easiest way we possibly can. You can really easily get lost in Groove Agent and end up in a, a quagmire of complexity that's just really unnecessary if you know how to avoid the pitfalls. And that's what this video series is going to be all about. So if that's something that you're interested in seeing, please hit subscribe, hit notifications. You'll find out when the next episode comes out. And uh, I hope to see you then. Thanks a lot for watching.